Pamela Malkoff Hayes presents Drawn to Change A guide to the creative cognitive therapy method Positive change in your life I, I did. Your homework was to journal a little bit about your bridge drawing. It was interesting because I think there's a very, there's this, there's this differentiation between visually, right, you know, drawing it and then actually journaling it and just seeing where my thoughts would take me. Kind of seeing, it was almost like a bridge to nowhere I wrote down too. Um, just not knowing again, like what my future looks like, just by you asking me mm -hmm. and visually seeing what I drew just made me like really dig deep into what I could even be thinking. Our goal this week is to identify like the major thing that you're struggling with. In identifying your major struggle, let's give it a name. Do you want to call it anxiety? I don't know. I, I don't really want to call it anxiety. I don't want to label myself like that. No, we're not we're not labeling you. We're labeling okay. your struggle. Okay. Got it. What do you think you want to call your major struggle? Um I guess I guess confusion about my future. I like that. First we're gonna start off with the thoughts that go along with that. Okay, so we're gonna talk about your cognitive responses. It's like, what am I? You know, like I guess the labeling part, like what, I don't know what title to give myself. A person that needs to be busy 24 seven. So what happens when you're not busy? Um, I think sometimes like I'll stress and I'll, like, I'll wanna eat more. Sometimes I like, over exercise that's something uh -huh. that i've like dealt with in the past where such a universal thing is when we're feeling bad about ourselves we definitely want to you know we want to make ourselves feel better and especially we want to feel better in the moment right and right. so eating is a comfort thing for many people just like it's honestly just like a state of anxiety confusion um and like not really wanting to do anything Yes, yeah. and it's like listen, it's like first world problems. I don't want to sound like that, I, you know. But I call these ants. These are ants that run around in your head. They're automatic negative thoughts. It's a lot for you to carry, and a lot of stuff for you to hold on to. Draw a picture of a person holding all of those things. Tell me about your drawing. So, um, the t I'll just start. I'll just start clockwise. So. Um, I guess I'll start with the clock. Um, so I put the clock kind of like time's running out, um, even though it's not, but it feels like that. Mm -hmm. And then and I have a house, cause right now like I'm, I'm back home with my family and I really do want to move out and like be independent again. Then I have an airplane. Mm -hmm. I'm like, should I stay? Should I move? That kind of thing. Then I have, it looks like, but it's a diploma. So it's like, should I go back to school? My last symbol is a weight. Mm -hmm. And it's because like my whole life is fitness. What do you see? What does it look like to you? Stress. Not, not what it feels like, but what it looks like. Is that person holding those things? Um, she's holding some of them, but the others are floating. You say, like, you talk and say, like, oh, it's so up in the air. And then when you draw it, you're like, oh, it really is up in the air. Yeah, that, that is true. I mean, you're not holding those things. They're actually floating up in Let's the air. Let's talk about the fact that um, you only used that purple color. Um, so you put, you put effort into this drawing, mm -hmm. but you only put minimal effort into a lot of things. Do you feel like you want to take any time to add any color or do you um, do you like it as is? It's funny because like, I don't, I kind of don't because everything's like at one for me. I can't really differentiate them. You know what I mean? What's the expression on your person's face? Like she's just like monotone. If she were to speak, like she's just, it's just like the line is like this. 
just flat. She's not, <laughs> it's flat. She's not smiling. She's not frowning. Yeah. And it's very small too. Like you drew it pretty small in comparison to the size of the paper. That is true. That is true. Any thoughts about that? Maybe like feeling small. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess just feeling small sometimes. I want you to just listen to your thoughts. Because a lot of times we're not even aware of how many negative thoughts go on in our head. The other thing that I'm going to have you do with the list is to change your ants, your automatic negative thoughts, into paths. And paths are positive adjusted thoughts. For instance, if my negative thought, if my ant was, I always make mistakes, then my opposite positive adjusted thought would be I do things correctly um, this is very uh, classic cognitive behavioral restructuring I really like that I, I like this strategy and I'm a very visual person so I really like this thanks for watching to get the full version and accompanying downloadable PDFs go to my website or click the link below or better yet experience the entire program with one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. See you soon. Get more information at HayesArtTherapy.com Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.